What is going on everybody, it's Nothing With Skills, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a healer build for those heroic and legendary missions. Mainly legendary because you know that's where the hardest difficulty is right now, and that's where most likely you'll run a healer build. And you can even run this in heroic if you guys want to have some kind of team synergy going. And the way I have this set up is going to help your team stay alive, and they'll also put out more damage. Now there are a few ways that you can run your healer build. I feel that the hardware set, the one that I have right here, paired up with the right pieces is the best way to run it. And I'll explain why I think this is the best way. But if you notice, I'm only running about almost 700k armor with um, 280k health, a little bit less than that, right? I'm just rounding up a little bit. My specialization I am running is the survivalist, and I think that's the best one to run for a healer build in this meta but you can run the technician too that is still another way you can run the healer build if you want to run that but what we're going to do right now is we're going to get into the weapons so you can run whatever weapon you want but the talent you want to have on your primary is going to be reformation headshots grant 30 percent skill repair for eight seconds yes yeah, so every time i get a headshot 30 percent skill repair for eight seconds now this is just my backup this is my backup talent because on my secondary I have the name shotgun, the send off. And the reason why you want to run this one is because of the talents. It comes with perfect distance, 100% optimal range, but look, perfectly rooted. While equipped and in cover, all skill damage and healing is increased by 30% for 15 seconds. Now the buff is lost when you exit cover, which you're going to stay in cover because you're a healer. And this can occur every 60 seconds. So I initially take advantage of perfectly rooted and then I'll switch over back to um, reformation. So Perfectly Rooted is going to be my main go-to send-off. Now you can get this by completing stage 4 of the Technician class and then part of the rewards you get the blueprint for this and then you just have to craft it. So doing the Technician, um, you know how you have stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4? Well doing that will get you this. Now for the pistol, I have Reformation on there, but those are the main two talents, Reformation and then Perfectly Rooted because of the send-off. But let's get into the gear itself, right? Let's get into the build because the build is what allows you to keep your players up, right? Um, the weapons are just a little bonus to the healing, but the build is what's going to keep the team up. So we are running a four-piece hardwire set. You can see that right here. And what the four-piece is going to do is the two-piece is going to give us that 15% skill haste. And the three piece is going to give us that 15% skill repair skills. We're not worried about the skill damage, but the repair skills is what we want there. But that's not what would make this any good. You could probably get a high end that's going to do more than that. But the four piece is what really gets interesting. Whenever you use or cancel a skill, your other skill is automatically refreshed. And it increases the total skill damage and skill repair. So skill repairs what we're paying attention by 10% for 20 seconds. This can occur at most once per 20 seconds. Now what this does is it gives you an instant shot on your chem launcher because all you have to do is pick up your restore hive or destroy your restore hive and you'll instantly refresh your chem launcher and then it's going to have that extra 10% skill repair and you'll be able to use it on a player. Now we do have one skill tier on here and then we do have 18.5% repair skills. So you want to go skill tier and repair skills on the mask. Now for the chest, we are running a two piece Alp summit because it gives us 15% repair skills and 20% skill duration. Now the core attribute, of course, we're going with skill tier. For the attributes, we have repair skills, hazard protection, and skill haste as the mod. Now instead of the hazard protection, 100%, I would like to have skill haste there. So I would have to have repair skills, skill haste, and then on the mod, we put skill haste because we want my skills to get back a little bit quicker. But worst case, you guys can run repair skills there. Then for the talent, empathic resolve. Repairing an ally increases their total weapon damage and skill damage by 3 to 15% for 10 seconds, 1 to 7% if self. Now the effectiveness is increased by your skill tier. Since I'll be maxed out of skill tier 6, we should be getting that 15% extra total weapon damage for our team every time we heal them. That's amazing. 10 seconds is a long time to get an additional 15% on those DPS builds. We get into the holster. This is our next piece of hardware. So we're just going to roll skill tier and then repair skills on here. So you're going to notice that's a trend, right? The knee pads, the same thing, skill tier, repair skills. So pretty much on all the mark, uh, on all the hardware sets, we are running skill tier and repair skills. The gloves, the same thing, skill tier and then repair skills. That's what you guys are going to want to go with on those four pieces. Now for the backpack, this is our second piece of Alp Summit. So this is giving us that 20% skill duration. We have skill tier, 
skill haste. Instead of armor regeneration, I would like to have repair skills. And then since I didn't have repair skills on there, I rolled um, my mod of 19.5% repair skills on there. Now the talent you definitely want to have is safeguard. While at full armor, increase total skill repair by 100%. So if your chem launcher is doing about a million, it's going to do 2 million. And you already know, 2 million is enough to heal even the tankiest players in the game to full health. So if you're running some type of skill build, some type of healer build, this is going to be the talent for you. Some type of healer build, you're going to be running this talent right here. Safeguard, 100%. The best healer build talent in the game right now. Now, if you don't have a two-piece Alp Summit on the chest or backpack, you can substitute that for Mokami chest and backpack. Because look, it gives you 20% skill duration, 15% repair skills. The same thing that you are getting for running that with an Alp Summit chest piece and backpack. So if you don't have the Alp Summit chest and backpack, run the Murakami chest and backpack with the same rolls. So two different options for you guys. Now... Now that we know how the build is set up, right, the, the, the build itself, let's talk about the skills. So we run the Restore Hive. The Restore Hive is going to give us 320k healing and PvE. The health on this is about 4.2 million. Now, I do have a healing mod on there. I have a health mod on there. If you want to get the duration mod, you can. And then for the other one, we are running a Radius. Now, remember, this these numbers do not include Safeguard, do not include um, Perfectly Rooted, do not include Reformation. Anytime you have any of those proc'd. That does not include any of that. Now, if we get into the chem launcher, the chem launcher is healing for a million, 82,000. And look, we have a seven ammo count. And then the ammo cooldown is about 19 seconds. Now, we do have a healing mod on there on this one. And then also, you can choose whether you guys want to run a skill haste or if you want to run one extra shot. I'll let you guys decide. It's about, about 0.7 seconds faster to get your skills back if you have the skill haste. But I'll let you make that decision. Now remember, the armor repair that you're getting in PvE, right, is 1 million, right? Oh, repair over time is 194,000, but you got to think about this. Once I have safeguard, that's going to be at 100%, so my armor repair is going to be 2 million. There's not a tank that's more than 2 million, so you should be able to heal them up to full heal no matter how much damage they are taking. And as if we watch some gameplay right here, you're going to see the heals heal him to full health. I'm keeping them up, and when I don't, I don't even have to worry about healing myself because my restore hive is going to heal me right and a restore hive is still healing him when i'm on that cooldown waiting but if you have multiple players you have to heal that's what the restore hive and if they're playing smart right he's just kind of standing in the open he's doing it on purpose we're trying to get him to take damage we're trying to get him to take some of that damage so that way i can heal him and show you guys the powerful how powerful these heals are and how they can bring a guy who has no armor all the way to full armor instantly so that's why DPS players will benefit 100% from this. And if you're watching, every time I heal him and he gets that full heal, he has that 15% extra damage on him, right? So you can see the, you can see it on him. It's, it's, it's on him right now. And that's what's great about this. The, the chest talent with the backpack talent with hardwire and being able to consistently get my heals back to keep my team up is amazing. Now, if we get into the specialization real quick, the last thing I want to go over is the survival list. The reason why I'm choosing a survivalist is because not only do we get this 15% increased outgoing healing, we also get this armor kit that's great for team play. Armor kits now repair over 5 seconds instead of instantly, but heal your whole group. We have the 10% protection from elites. And then if we go down, we also have group members gain 10% damage to targets with status effects. Now if we throw out incendiary grenade, they're going to get a status effect. That's why it all works really good hand in hand and then also we have that talent while on cover you gain 10% skill haste so that 10% skill haste the 15% outgoing healing and the med kits this is why i like the survivalist now you can run the technician like i told you but personally i think the best bet for this build is running the survivalist now remember if you do want to run a high-end healer build you 100% can i just prefer i prefer the hardware set because of the four piece and how if I want to get the extra chem launcher back, I just have to destroy my skill and then every 20 seconds I can do that, right? So that just gives me one extra way to get my skill back instantly. And I just have to pick up the hive. I don't even have to destroy it. But this is how I run the build. If you guys have any questions on this one, let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys again for all the support. I do have a couple other builds coming your way. I just felt like a healer build would be great for those people who are struggling with heroic and they need some type of support role. This is a great way 
for you to keep your team up. A great way to make sure that your team stays alive. Being that healer build, it feels like Division 1 where we actually had roles. And this is kind of cool to see um, different builds coming out. But we're going to wrap the video up here. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Don't forget, if you're new to my channel, first time watching the video, hit the subscribe button, turn notification on, so when I release a video, you guys get notified. Until the next Division 2 video, nothing but skills out.